Okay, join me uh, doing a bit more of um, some work on the Zitagi HP 1000 SWA and uh, matching unit. As you may recall in the last video, I did a sort of overview on it and I put a little on off switch in here for the LED backlights because otherwise they're on all the time. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to do a mod on this. So basically I can connect my frequency counter straight to this unit via a BNC connector and then every time I connect transmit I get obviously the wattage and I can check the SWAR but I also get the frequency that I'm transmitting on going straight into the frequency counter as well and that's the plan. So the first thing to do is get this unit open and uh, we'll check whether it can be modded because what I need is I need the rear connector of the antenna socket which is the one on this side at the back to be available to put my soldering iron on because I've got to add a component so let's get this thing open and we'll have a look to get in the unit there's one two three four screws I am missing one um, but that's what you need to undo and then the lid lifts off I'll show you that once I get the screws out so here's how the lid lifts off like so be careful when you're lifting the lid off because there are wires inside and particularly for my one because I've modded it to put a switch in line I've got extra wires in there now if you look at back of mine I've already drilled a hole and fitted a BNC connector through the hole which I've mounted here this is the uh, this one here is the antenna socket and this little stub here that's the antenna bit that I want to then connect a component from the centre point of this BNC across to the antenna connector. You need to try and get this as close as possible but obviously when you're connecting the BNC connector and an uh, PL259 on the back you need to leave a little tiny bit of gap so that's the best I can do. So I've got to get the soldering iron now, we've got to tin this um, and then we've got to find a 10k resistor because that's what we're fitting across here to connect the frequency counter to the output connection of there. So let me have a wander down to stores, see if we've got any 10K resistors and we get the soldering iron set up. And this is what you need to do this modification. Um, and if you're gonna look them up on the uh, flea bay, they're BNC female chassis bulkhead sockets, RF coaxial connectors. So I'll say that again, BNC female chassis bulkhead socket, RF coaxial connectors and you get the connector itself the little nut and a little tag and basically the tag pushes onto the thread and then the nut goes on as you can see I've put it in there and that's all you want so I've managed to find um, a pack of 10K 0.25 carbon film resistors. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these. We don't need to form it or anything. So if I pull one out, get the legs fairly straight. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to fit that across there. From the centre point of this pin here, which is the PL259, to the centre point of there. Soldering iron warming up, so we're going to just tin the end of this connector here. Then we can solder this in place and we're done. We'll see whether it works. There's nothing to stop you in theory trying this if you've got a different make of SWAR meter to the uh, HP 1000 that I'm working on. Providing you can get to the pin. That's where the key thing is. So I've just trimmed that a bit. So that should fit across there nicely now and then once that's soldered in I can trim it on this side and then it's the nice fit and it should be good to go. So let's get the soldering iron worn up. Uh, grab some solder. Sorry about this, I'm working across the front of a camera. Actually let me solder this on because the camera is literally behind my hand here and it's right in the way. Okay, so the resistor is soldered across there to the BNC. So that's done. So now I need to get this thing back together, uh, connect it up, and we'll see if this mod actually works. It's not that difficult to do, um, and it's fairly cheap as well. So 
Let's get the lid back on. One thing I have got to do is I fed a lot of the wire back through the hole that goes to this. So I need to make sure all the wires are inside and they're not touching anything. That's it. Oh, I haven't got enough wire now to get the lid back on. Hang on, poke some back through. Right, lid back on. Let me get the screws in. Okay, so I've got a Colt 510. We'll connect it to the power pack. And then we've got the unit here and the frequency counter here. So what I need to do is connect a BNC lead from the front of the frequency counter to the connector that we've added on the rear. Then we need to turn the radio on. I haven't got a microphone for this radio, so I'll have to key it up with some crocodile clips because I'm still doing a bit of work on it at the moment. Um, so that's the common, yeah. So you can see the needle move. So it's going into transmit. So let's key it up on there. Uh, frequency counter on. Um, let's prop you up in front of that. Hopefully you can see that from there. Then if I key up, fingers crossed, we should get a reading. 26.96577 so that's channel 1 of the mid band. Let's go to channel 40. 27.405 nice. Channel 20 27.205 let's go plus 40 go to channel 1 which is 41 27.416, so that's a bit off. And then channel 80, 856, so that's a bit off. Come down to the minus 40, go to channel 1. 27.516, that's a bit off. And channel 40, 956, that's a bit off. So, we go back to mid band. 26965 so the other ones need a bit of a tune but the frequency counter connected to this is doing exactly what we wanted it to do and then we've got just over four watts showing on there so that actually works really well so for the simple resistor and adding of the BNC connection we actually get a hands-free frequency counter. So I'm well pleased with that. Um, I hope you like that as well. It's only going to be a short little video, but it just shows you how easy it is to do the mod. And then when you're working away doing your tuning and twiddling your pots, your frequency is displayed on there, and you haven't got to do anything. You're hands-free, and that's how it should be. So anyway, that's it from me. Any comments, questions, let me know. Um, and I'll see if I can help you out. Please like and subscribe the video because it helps the channel out. I hope you enjoyed it. 73s, 51s, we're gone.